All right, traders, welcome to today's recap. This is Christian Farmer at Stribeca Trade Group, and it is October 22nd. It is uh, just after Tuesday. So um, we'll go through today's moves. We'll talk about um, growth stocks. What the hell happened today? Whew, uh, basically smoked in a lot of areas. First things first, risk disclaimer. Everything that we're talking about today is for information purposes only, not giving out any advice or recommendations, anything like that. But um, I just wanted to revisit this. This was from Friday. Uh, if you missed Friday's video, I think I retweeted that on Saturday morning. But uh, I was talking about how stock picking, very difficult right now, uh, making adjustments. Uh, we looked at the weekly performance last week, but a lot of rotations going on. And I think that really, uh, you know, has really picked up, right? Um, if we look at a couple different things, value versus growth, value really outperforming, really some of the most beaten up areas of the market, uh, steel names, energy names, uh, banks, which we know about, which have been outperforming now for about a week, week and a half, but um, some other areas of the market, you know, just really odd to see so many breakouts occur. Uh, you know, some names, I, I tell you, I went, I was going through the um, the 20 day high list uh, yesterday, uh, you know, last night. And first of all, there was about, uh, you know, just looking at new highs and names that are priced over $10. I think there was 40 pages that I had on Finviz. And half of the names, I was like, I don't normally trade most of these names. Uh, so it's just, it's really interesting. It's kind of severe rotation going on right now. Remember this happened a month ago and then it kind of died down. Um, you could slice this a couple different ways. And I went over this in the midday video. If you're not a member of Tribeca Trade Group, uh, please check us out and uh, try, try uh, you know, check it, try, try, trading with us for a month um, see how see how you do you know is for in terms of um, information that I put out I think you'll you will be much more well informed about some of these moves taking place especially during the day um, I always kind of pride myself on being a little bit um, ahead and I think if you go through my tweets you'll find that I'm you know usually a couple days ahead um, by sure a couple hours I was talking about a couple names today and I saw couple people I don't know if they're copying from me but retweeting them after me but in any event that's not the most that's not the important thing of the day um, here's of course value versus growth small cap right so just the small caps and I was talking about this on Friday saying that you know after big uh, a big move from value over growth you know growth kind of retreated a little bit sorry let me say that again value retreated a little bit and growth outperformed uh, but now you're starting to see value outperform again make sure that when you're looking at this chart kind of look at this in couple uh, you know a couple years back uh, because again keep in mind how cheap value got compared to growth I think people are really missing that you know for a long time growth names have outperformed you know like names like Roku um, all the software names they didn't they hadn't just been going out for hadn't just been going up for a couple months they were going up for months and months and months and value you know financials steel names energy names kept getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper and cheaper so at some point right you're going to see a, a snapback in terms of um, value versus growth and I think that's kind of what we have part of what we have going on uh, right now the one thing that's a little bit concerning to me is that we saw this remember we saw this back back in um, around the same time of the year not exactly uh, but this is right at the end of September uh, and into the beginning of October, you saw value outperform and then everything, you know, spilled over. So I don't know, uh, you know, these are things that we just don't know yet. If that is giving us an ominous sign that value is creeping up that much, or if it's just one of these valuation rotations where everybody's getting out of uh, growth names, you know, maybe a little bit ahead of earnings and going into some, you know, some thinking, uh, possibly thinking that these names that are going to report earnings, these value names are going to uh, fare better than uh, overcrowded growth names. Just a thought, uh, you know, uh, there could be multiple reasons for what we're seeing, but that's one of them. But, um, you know, going back to last time, I'll bring this up. Um, if stock picking is too hard right now and i don't blame you um, if you're kind of coming to this conclusion uh, there's things that you could do either a you just kind of get out of single stock picking until we get through earnings um, and trade a little bit more index 
right? And and if the VIX is starting to creep up like it did today, it's just and you can see the market selling off here after hours. I actually went home with some puts um, at the end of the day, which I don't usually do. But if I see that we sell off like we do, you know, the VIX is at a pretty low level. Could we see a move back to 15, 16? Sure, right? I mean, this thing has been making lower highs, um, but we're pretty far from you know, making another lower high, you know, which would be around 16 or 17. So just be mindful of that. Um, I, I thought originally that it would be very difficult. I'm always open-minded, but very difficult for us to break out to new highs during earnings season. Um, the one thing that I said is that uh, the market does like su to surprise us, but it looks like we are, uh, you know, we got a little bit above that 3000 level and the market didn't like it again. So I thought this would happen. This We saw this on Friday, and we managed to rebound uh, pretty nicely yesterday. Um, so again, very, very tricky market. This is typical on around earnings season that it is tricky. I use that word a lot. Um, but I think around earnings season, it's, it's typically pretty tricky. So, uh, you know, I would say let this play out. Um, Chipotle had great numbers. This should give you a little bit of uh, a clue um, right now what this market is is favoring right now. Chipotle had great numbers and they're flat. Um, and if you look at their numbers, unless unless I'm missing something here in their numbers, but I, I don't know if you could actually get better numbers than these or expect to see better numbers. And, and um, so 382 versus 381, their comp sales were plus 11 percent versus point uh plus 9.3 i don't think they brought in their guidance um it says <laughs> bloomberg says they they gain after chain beats earnings expectations so i i'm uh top assessments of its ceo's aggressive digital plan i yeah i don't know i think they're just it's just out of favor and i tell you i was when i was coming into today i was uh, thinking about going long Chipotle for earnings uh, because they've got a pretty good history. But uh, once the last hour kind of showed up, I said, um, no way am I playing this to the long side. I actually think selling a call spread. Um, now, granted, I didn't trade anything for this, but, um, you know, I just kind of saw the writing in the wall. The people are not, this uh, this environment right now is not loving it. Um, we might get some more pain tomorrow because names like Texas Instruments, um, down pretty decently. Service now uh, coming back from the lows. Interesting. Look at where it bounced. Right at 190. If you go to the daily chart, we got a nice virgin point of control down there. Uh, again, if you're not familiar with this concept, virgin point of controls come up again and again and again. Um, notice the bounce off the last one. Um, pretty short lived at this point. So, um, you know, and again, I'll show you a couple examples. Um, did I go over the performance already? I may have touched upon it. Performance for the day. Look at the names that outperformed. I mean, despite you could see the market selling off and, and the queues getting kind of hit over the head today, uh, you know, XME, metals, and I mentioned the steel names. Um, the steel names were up 1.4% for the day. Uh, the industrials, which look really, have been looking really strong, right? Names like Honeywell are pretty close to breaking out. EMR has been strong. Um, Another one that's, uh, you know, I found this name breaking out, um, RDN, which is a property and casualty insurance company. Um, one name that I that I like right now is Berkshire, right? Berkshire uh, has not broken out yet, um, but I would keep an eye on them, especially when you go over to the weekly chart. Remember what they own, Apple, Bank of America, all the banks. Well, if the banks are start are going to start doing good, um, I don't see how this name uh, can't can stay down here if their portfolio is, is doing that well. So anyway, we'll, we'll leave it there. Again, kind of take things day by day, especially during earnings season. You know, this is something that we covered in the weekend member video, just talking about not trying not to take too much risk around this time of earnings season because it generally is more challenging, especially single names. Um, I think that's adding to the rotations uh, that we're seeing. So again, all covered in, in the weekend video. Um, so just kind of take uh, day by day, especially with over 25% of the S&P reporting. Um, oh, I did want to go through, I did mention a couple names that are breaking down. I mean, you know, you take a look at this, th these names haven't even reported. And what I said earlier in the day was that it seems like they're not waiting for earnings. Um, MasterCard, Visa, 
Uh, I had these in a in our tactical portfolio, and I traded out of them today uh, because you know if these things are going to break down, um, Microsoft too looks a bit iffy too, and and this hasn't even reported yet either. So um, you know, PAGS, uh, PayPal getting absolutely smoked today as well. Not even you know hasn't even had a chance to report earnings yet, so they're selling ahead of that. All right, guys, um, that's it for today's video. Have a great night. See you tomorrow.